The story of the 1990 Reds had the happiest of endings. A world championship for America's oldest uh, baseball franchise, for some of America's best baseball fans, uh, for a team that uh, looked its opponent in the eye and made the opponents blink. Today we're series, talking baseball, in a in team that won nothing. You've given all of us that love baseball, and what memories we have. One of the greatest bullpens in, in baseball's tide of times. You know how the Reds spell relief, uh, N-A-S-T-Y. <laughs> and of the series' most valuable player, Jose Rijo, yielding all of one run in 15-plus innings. Maybe you can help us with the interest rates. You get the ERA down, now <laughs> the interest rates. And each of these men and so many others were dedicated to a cause, bringing the world's championship back to the banks of the Ohio. And with that, you first told Luke Miller that he and Alexa have shown America why two of the most beautiful words in the English language are the 1990 world championship. So let me leave you by quoting another Reds announcer, Marty Brenneman. This one belonged to the Reds. And when it comes to baseball, Cincinnati is truly number one.